Let's try this 15th one. Who tried this 15th one? Yes. Who tried this 15th uh, question? And I guess another question I gave. Yes. So, Sheikh Iyad, okay, Iyad has tried this question and 15th one option is A. Good. Anybody else who tried this question? Hmm, nobody else. Okay, yeah. So, please try this one, right? Yeah, the next question I will talk about. So, you guys see that in this question, in the 16th uh, question, in the 16th question, okay, what is happening? Yeah. It's zero. Zero? Okay. So, when velocity is zero, is uh, the displacement is zero. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you will check that uh, later. What is the answer of this question, right? Because I have to solve this one. But I'm asking about uh, 15th one, Shai. So I gave this question as your homework in yesterday's class, right? Did you guys try this one? Only Yad has tried and he got zero. Right. So, mm, yeah. So this is, uh, this was uh, the homework. Okay, so now let us talk about the 16th question. In this question, V is given, which is 180 minus 16 X to the power half, right? So uh, we know that, uh, how can we calculate velocity? So from velocity, how can we calculate acceleration? How can you calculate? Yes, differentiate. DV by DT, but you see what is the independent parameter in here? If we are talking about this thing, so V should be function of what? If you are Thanks. calculating, V should be function of time. Then only you can take the differentiation with respect to T, right? But in here, we don't have this uh, scenario. In here, V is function of displacement or uh, distance. In here, we need V as function of time. Then only we can uh, find out what is F prime T, which is differentiation with respect to time, right? So in this situation, what we do is that uh, we know that what is A, this is dV by dt. So we can multiply it by dx and dx, right? So this will not change the function. And then we can take this dx by dt as uh, v, right? dx by dt is velocity. And then this is dv by dx. Now we have changed this differentiation as function of x, right? So this is another result that you have to remember that if whenever uh, velocity is given in the function of x, then we should use this thing, right? This is your acceleration in uh, res with respect to x, with respect to distance or displacement. So this is, uh, and this is uh, the thing and use this thing and tell me what is the answer that you guys are getting. Use this thing and tell me what is the answer you guys are getting. So Maria is saying option C. Okay, good. Yeah, so all of you guys, please try this one. Maria has got C. And rest of you guys, please uh, try this one, right? So Tarif is also getting... Uh,
so okay madhya and ya so both of you guys so there is a majority answer in c right and only shai then shavez you guys are remaining right shavez oh shavez is not here okay so shai what you are what are you getting Minus eight meter per second square. Okay, so everybody is getting good. Everybody is uh, getting minus eight meter per second square. So only thing that we have to remember then what is the function which is uh, given, right? This is as function of x. Then we'll use this thing. Okay, so this was the idea of this question. And then uh, we will talk about, uh, yeah, so, this uh, question, right? Okay. Yeah, the next one is same question, right? So 39 is same question. So we'll skip all these questions. And now we will uh, study about uniform acceleration. Right, so we'll study about uniform acceleration. All these questions are uh, trivial. So in such a way that uh, the initial velocity of the particle is, right? So that is, yeah, okay. So the other thing is uh, uniform acceleration, right? So whenever you have a uniform acceleration, then there are set of uh, equation of motion, right? That part you guys already know from your 10th standard. So equation of motion for uniform acceleration. This thing you guys have learned uh, in your 10th, 11th, right? So in both uh, these uh, standards, you guys have seen this. So the first equation is V is U plus AT. Second equation is uh, S is UT plus half AT square. Third equation is uh, what? So V square minus U square equals to two AS. And there is a fourth equation. So fourth equation is distance in nth second, right? So what is uh, this thing? So let us try to find out this thing. So let's say that somebody asked that what is, uh, what is the distance traveled in let's say ninth second if the object started from rest and uh, moving with acceleration, let's say 20 meter per second square, right? So in this, in these type of uh, question, you don't have to find uh, S9. Right, you have to find out what is the distance in ninth second. So to calculate that there is a relation that we are going to derive. So let's say that uh, this is the time n second. Right, and this is the time n minus one second. Right, so if I calculate the distance from here to here, let's say this is A, this is B, this is uh, C. So this BC, this BC distance is the distance in nth second, right? Right guys? So how we can calculate this thing? S nth would be Sn minus Sn minus one, right? So AC, BC is what? AC minus of AB. 
right? So AC is SN, AB is what? SN minus one. So what is uh, this thing? What is SN? We have uh, initial velocity U, we have uh, time is N, right? And then acceleration is A. So all these things are defined. These things would be given. So you have uh, UN plus half AN square and minus of uh, UN minus one, right? Plus half AN minus one whole square. So this is uh, the distance in nth second. So what would be this thing? This is UN plus half AN square minus UN minus u and uh, plus half a n square minus 2n plus 1, right? So what would be this thing? So this is un plus half a n square minus un plus u minus half a n square plus uh, what is this thing? Half a and 2n and minus this is a by 2. So half a n square, half a n square cancels, u and u n cancels. So we have u and uh, we can take a by 2 common, right? Or uh, we can take a by 2 common. So this is uh, how much? This is 2n minus 1. So this is the distance traveled in nth second. So this is your fourth equation. Right. Is it uh, clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, so these are the things that we will be using uh, in the next uh, set of questions. Quickly note down this one, right? Uh, because all the other things you guys uh, know very well. So quickly, only this part. Note down only this part. And then we will do a couple of questions. And then I have to talk about free fall. And then I will talk about uh, the motion in two damage. Let's hope that we reach that point. Yeah, whenever you guys have uh, noted it down, please tell me. Yeah, noted, guys. Done. Yes, sir. Done. Okay, so now let us try some questions and see how much we remember. All right, let me quickly erase this part. So... Okay. Yeah, so the first question. A particle experiences uh, a constant acceleration for 20 seconds after starting from rest. So we know that u is uh, zero. So we know that u is zero, right? If it travels uh, and this time is 20 seconds, 
right and uh, so if it travels s1 distance in 10 seconds so this distance is s1 in 10 seconds and uh, let's say it reaches here so then uh, we don't know what is uh, the v in here right and then in the next 10 seconds in the next 10 seconds the body travels s2 distance remember what is saying so acceleration is same uniform acceleration now you guys have to find out that uh, what is the correct relation right so let us do this question so we know that what would be s1 right from let's say a to b and then c so from a to b right you we know that uh, this is the initial speed so s1 would be u t plus half a t square so this u is zero right t is 10 so this cancels out we have only half a and uh, 10 square i guess somebody has already done this problem b okay so maria is saying option b good yeah so okay yad is also saying uh, b hmm okay so you guys are calculating this thing then okay rest of uh, you guys also calculate so if the other so mari and yad have already calculated so you guys also calculate and find out what would be the relation yeah because they have already calculated right so Yeah, rest of you guys, please also calculate. So now we have to calculate S1 we know. Now from B to C, we have to find out. What is the initial speed? That would be the final speed of this thing. Right. So that would be final speed of this thing is uh, how much? That is uh, U plus AT. Right. This is 0, t is 10. So v is uh, 10 a. And this will be your u for b to c. Right, then you, we can calculate s2, which is uh, ut plus half a t square. Now u is not 0. So u is 10 a. And time is again from here to here that is 10 seconds plus half a and uh, 10 into 10 so 5 so this is how much 100 a plus 50 a so this is 150 a right we see that 50 a is s1 so this is 50 a into 3 so this is 3 s1 so S2 is 3S1. So S1 is S2 by 3. So this is what Maria and Yad were getting, right? Yeah, so if you guys were stuck, please note it down. And then we'll do the next uh, question. Please note it down, guys. And if you guys have any doubt, please tell me.
Yes, is it clear, everyone? And where is uh, Shariz? Okay, yes, Fadil. Oh, so you are. That is why I thought that there are eight people, and then why is Shave is not here? So Fadil, you have joined for the first time, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So we yeah. So we only did uh, in the previous two classes we completed only vector spark, right? And then we are just uh, talking about motion in one D. I guess. Uh, okay, sir. Yeah, and we are also planning to start motion in two D, right? Because that was the schedule. So let's hope that we reach there. Yes. Sir. And whatever doubt you have uh, in the middle, you can always stop me, Fadil, and please ask, right? So. Yes, I will do. Yes, everyone, noted. Mm, guys, noted, done, down. Yes. Done. Okay. So now let us move on to the next question, right? Yes. Okay, so what is uh, the next question? So next question is uh, this one. A body is moving from rest, so we know that, right? This is zero, initial velocity is zero and is moving from rest under constant uh, acceleration. So acceleration is constant, right? And uh, let S1 be the displacement in the first P minus seg one second. So, okay, we don't uh, know about that. So let's say that uh, S1 is the distance for P minus one second, right, time. And uh, S2 is the displacement for P second. Right, so for the first P second, this is this. For the first p minus one second, this is uh, this. So what we can write? We can write that s one is uh, u t plus half a t square. Time is given. That is p minus one, and u is zero. So this part cancels, and we have only half. And what is uh, a? So a we don't know. That is a constant. This is p minus one whole square. So this is S1. What is S2? Same. U is 0. P is P. So this part cancels. This is half A P square. So these are uh, the two things that we know. Now uh, we have to calculate uh, the displacement in nth second. So S nth, we have to calculate. What is this thing? So this is uh, S, what was the formula? I guess this, this was U plus A by 2, 2 N minus 1. Am I correct? Was this the nth uh, second uh, displacement? Yes, guys. Was this the formula? Okay, so let us use this thing. Now, n is how much? n is this one. Right, so let us put it to this value. u is uh, 0. We already know. So this s, uh, whatever this uh, big term is, p square minus p plus 1, f, that is a by 2, and uh, 2n, right, so what is uh, this 2, and uh, p square, minus uh, p plus 1 and uh, minus 1 right so this is uh, this is uh, the thing and now if we write 
So what is uh, this thing? A by 2. This is 2p square. And then this is minus 2p and uh, plus 2 minus 1. Right. So this is uh, how much? A by 2. And this is uh, 2p square minus 2p plus 1. Right. So then what we can write uh, in uh, here? We have to somehow get uh, this thing. Right. So to do that, what would be the idea? We have to connect this thing with uh, these ones. Can you guys tell me? There's one important thing that we can do in this talk. What we can do? Tell me your ideas, guys. What we can do to get uh, this thing? Yes. Any idea, guys? Any idea that you guys can think of? Hmm. 2p as uh, p square plus p square. Good. Yes. So Maria is saying that uh, we can write 2p square as p square plus p square. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Same, sir. Same. Good. Yes. Very good. Very good. So we can write this thing as uh, p square. And what is the purpose? We will see. And let us write that thing later, right? So p square and plus p square. So we have moved uh, this thing. So this thing in here, right? So this is uh, what? Uh, this is p minus one whole square. And this is p square. So if we write this thing separately, so a by two p minus one whole square plus a by two p square. What is this thing? This is uh, S1, this is uh, S2. So that would be your SP square minus P plus one distance. So this is uh, the answer. Is it uh, clear everyone? Is it uh, clear guys? Yeah, so if it is clear, please note it down. And uh, then you guys will, so then you guys will do one question, right? And I will uh, wait. So the next question <laughs> would be which? Because I'm doing those problems, so. Yeah, so quickly note down this one and uh, then we will do uh, the next one. Yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. And uh, then you will do the next question. Okay. Done. So, yeah, that is uh, noted. Good. What about the rest of you guys? Yes, sir. Done. Hmm, Maria has also noted. So... Then I guess everybody has admitted, right? So now you guys, please do this problem. So please uh, do this, which one? 43rd. So please do this 43rd one, and then we'll do the 45th one, and then we'll uh, move on to free fall. So please quickly do this 43rd one. Right. Uh,
Yeah, so the problem is 43rd one. Oh, already calculated. Who calculated already? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Yad has already calculated and he is getting, what was the option that we are getting? B. Hmm. So there are uh, this one from this and this, right? The particle moves in 10 meters. So this is 10. Next 10. This is 5 seconds. Three seconds, and then you have to find uh, next uh, two seconds, right? In next, uh, a particle assume a particle travels in uh, yeah. So always uh, remember that they have not mentioned the whether the particle is at rest or uh, moving. So in here you have some initial velocity, right? You have some initial velocity. And uh, then you have to find out, uh, right, so you have U. Okay, Maria is getting option A. So we have a contradiction, right? Maria is getting A, Iyad is getting B. So we have a contradiction. Now who is going to confirm? Remember, in this question, you guys have to only find out U and uh, A. If you guys can find out these two unknown parameters, because you have two equation, this one and this one, right? You guys have two equations. Using these two, you guys can find out. So anyone else? Hmm. Madhya is also getting so now we have a majority right Madhya is getting option A Tarif is also getting option A Yad. so there is a majority of A in here right yes Fadil what you are uh, getting and Shahid so what you guys are getting? So you guys have already these informations, right? And then you have to find out what is this X. So first try to incorporate uh, these two information. Okay, Fadil is getting a C. Hmm, so there is a new option, right? So we have all the option in here, right? And one of them, so if Shahid says that the option is D, then you guys are, uh, one of you, all of you guys are correct, right? So 8.33 uh, meter. Okay, so Shahid is saying A. Good. So we have a majority, right, in A. So let us check that. So we'll talk about this thing later. Let us focus on this thing. So we know that let's pick this point as the initial point. And let's uh, take a distance from here to here, right? So we know that S is UT plus half AT square. So if we pick, let's say AB, right? This is C and this is T. So let's say AB. For AB, uh, this is uh, U we don't know. T is 5 second plus half A we also know, don't know, and this is 5 into 5. And this AB is how much? This AB is uh, 10 meters. This is 5U plus this is 25A by 2. So let us write this in this way. So this is, uh, let's take the LCM. So this would be 20, this is 10U and plus 25a and then we can take 5 common so 5 common in here this is uh, 2u plus 5a 
this five, this five cancels. So this is two equals to two U plus five U. So this is one linear equation, right? This is one equation. Now let us use uh, A to C. From A to C, right? Again, S is uh, UT plus half AT square. Because we are using the same U. That is why I'm starting from A. Right. 5 into 4 is 20. Yeah, 5 way. Did I write something else? 4 equals to 2u plus 5a. Oh, so 5 4 I yes. Yes. Yes, correct, correct, correct. Yeah. So this is uh, us is how much then from A to C? That is 20 meters. And then u is same, but time is how much? From here to here, that is 8. So this is 8 and this is 1 by 2, A, 8 into 8. So this is 4. And then this is how much? This is 20 equals to 8 U plus uh, 32 A. Right. And then again, we can take uh, 4 common in here. So we can take 4 common. This is... Uh, 4, 2u plus 8 So this 4 and this 5. So we have another equation which is 5 equals to 2u and uh, plus 8a. So this is the second equation. Now if, if we subtract this one, so we have 1 equals to 8a minus uh, 5a, right? So 3a. So a is 1 by 3. <laughs> A is 1 by 3, and then you can find out uh, using one of the equation, right? So using one of the equation, you can write, let's say this one, this one. So 4 equals to 2u plus 5 into 1 by 3. So u is how much? 2u is 4 minus 5 by 3. So this is 2u is uh, 12. Right, 12 minus 5, 7 by 3, which is uh, u is 7 by 6. So now we have u, right? And we have a also. But we want to find out what is the distance between c to d. So what we will do is that if we want to find out c, d, then we can calculate a, d, and we can subtract a, c. Right, a, c, we already know. AC is 20. AD we have to find out. What is, uh, what would be AD? So AD would be U, which is uh, how much? 7 by 6. T. So T is how much? 10. Plus half. And uh, AT square. So A is 1 by 3. And T is 10 into 10. Right, so this is 3, this is uh, 5, this is 5. So how much is this? 35 by 3 plus this is uh, 50 by 3. So how much is this thing? So this is uh, 85 by 3. So 85 by 3. Now what would be this thing? So 85 minus 60 by 3. So this is uh, how much? 25 by 3. So 8.33 uh, what Shahid and uh, rest of the people were uh, getting right. So this was a lengthy question. Okay. Is it uh, clear to you, Yad and uh, Fadil? Is it clear? Okay, so quickly note down this part. Right, uh, uh, Fadil and uh, yeah, quickly note down this part. And then uh, I will give you guys uh, another important question and then we'll talk about free fall. So I have to talk about uh, rain man problem, river crossing problem, wind problem, projectile motion, 
circular motion and then yeah so these are the topics that are remaining i guess in the next class so what i will do is that uh, we'll take one question more and then i will talk about free fall so yes fadil and uh, yeah noted Whenever you guys have noted, please tell. Writing done. Okay, good. What about you, Fadil? Noted. Yes, Fadil. Uh, noted. Hmm. Where are you, Fadil? Okay, I guess uh, yeah, you have uh, noted. So we will do one question more from here, right? And then we will move on to free part. Okay, so there's this 45th one. This is important one. And uh, do we have uh, another one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one is... Okay, so which one we should uh, do? So all these are very important uh, questions. And uh, before I do this, uh, yeah, so 49, this is also a good question. And 45th one is also a good question. Those are lengthy questions. So what I will do is that, uh, or you guys can try that. So 48th one, <coughs> and uh, 49th one so these are important ones and this 45th one is also important so what you guys do is that uh, you guys calculate 45th one and then i will discuss this uh, 48th one right because we have a uh, very less amount of time so you guys please quickly try this right quickly try this uh, 45th one And tell me what you guys are getting. So we have to find out average speed. Right. Which means that ultimately you guys have to find out Total distance upon total time. Yeah, so please do this 45th one. So from here you have acceleration and from here to here you have a retardation which is let's say A prime. 
Right, this thing we don't know. This is uh, T time. And this is, uh, you don't know, T prime time. Right. And then this velocity is zero. This velocity, we don't know. And uh, yeah, this you don't need. So you have to calculate what is the distance from here to here? What is the distance from here to here? Total distance by total time. That is the idea of this question. Oh, one more thing. You know that uh, this velocity is zero. Let's say V prime. So the idea is that you have to calculate what is A prime, right? This is the only thing that you have to calculate. And then find out what is S and S prime. Hmm. So I have got one answer. Tarif is saying C. Hmm. Yeah, so your uh, universal answer is B, right? Every time you say B, yeah, this is your universal answer. Okay, so 380 by 2. Mm. Okay, so let us uh, do this problem, right? First, what is S? S is a UT plus half AT square, right? Maria is saying a uh, C option. Okay, let us check that. So uh, U is zero, time is capital T. So that is half A T square, right? <coughs> this is uh, this thing. And to calculate, uh, to calculate the distance from uh, here to here, we need this V. So let us calculate this V as well. So this V is U plus A T. This u is 0, a, and then this is t. So this v is uh, a t. Now this is uh, the initial speed for this uh, path, right, this journey. So let's say this is a, b, and uh, c. So from b to c, right, from b to c, let us find out uh, the acceleration first. What is a prime? Right, so let us use V square minus, or we can use uh, the, right. So we can use V equals to U plus uh, 80. 
And uh, we know that this A is A prime. This final velocity is zero. This U is how much? This is A T. And this is uh, A prime. This is T prime. Right, so this is uh, the relation that we have. So A prime is uh, how much? A prime is minus A T by T prime. This is uh, the relation that we have. Okay, now uh, what would be S prime? S prime is uh, U T plus half A T square. But now we know that what is uh, the time and what is the initial speed? So u is uh, how much? A t. And this t is t prime. Plus half. And what is uh, this thing? So this is a prime. And this t is t square. t prime square. Right, so what is uh, this thing? So we can take out uh, we can take out what is uh, common in here. So, okay, there's nothing common in here, but we can put uh, the value a t prime minus this is uh, half. A prime is how much? A prime is minus a t by t prime. And this is t prime square. So one will cancel and uh, we have uh, how much? So this is uh, a t t prime minus a t t prime by two. So this would be how much? One minus half. So this is a t t prime, right? A t t prime by two. This is s prime. Okay, now we know that what is uh, the average speed? So average speed would be how much? S1, S plus S prime divided by T plus T prime. So S is how much? S is half A T square. Right, S is half A T square. S prime is A T, T prime by two. Right, divided by, we have T plus T prime. So what we can do in here, we can take A by 2T common, and this is T plus T prime, divided by T plus T prime. Right, this, this cancels, and we have AT by 2. So this is your average speed. Is it uh, clear, everyone? Is it clear? Yes, guys, uh, clear. So, Tarif and Maria got uh, the correct answer. Yad, where did you make the mistake? Hmm, Yad, you have understood. So, yeah, this is option C. Yes, uh, Shahid, Wadil, Madiha, is it clear to you guys? Calculation mistake. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So as you can see, I was doing a um, calculation mistake, right? I wrote five fours, uh, whatever, 10 or something I wrote, right? Okay, quickly you guys note it down. And uh, then we will uh, do, I guess, I have to give that question as your homework because I want to also start this free form. So mm -hmm. I will... Uh, give that question as your homework. Those two questions are very, very important. Mm -hmm. So those two are very important questions. Quickly note this one. And uh, then I will just uh, share the uh, screen and you guys just take the screenshot of those questions. Those are very important. Well, what I will do is that I, I will quickly do one problem and uh, then the other problem you guys can uh, try. In the next class, we can discuss that one. 
Yes, noted everyone. Guys, noted. Mm, yes, yeah, that's noted. Okay, so now let us uh, move on to the next uh, question. So these two are uh, very important questions. The 42nd one, uh, 48th one and uh, 49th one. Right. So these are two are a very important question. And this uses the idea of a minimum, right? Whenever you have a maximum or minimum thing, so that is related with calculus. How do you define a maxima and minima? So you guys have learned this in your 12th standard, right? So to find out the minima and maxima of anything, you guys have to do the differentiation, right? So let's say if I am uh, given a function, and this is some function, let's say this is, uh, so this is some y, which is function of t. And then I want to maximize or minimize this thing, right? I want to find uh, the maximum or minima of this. Thing. So what I do is that I differentiate this thing one time, whatever is the independent parameter. If this is x, let's say if this is a function of x, then I will differentiate with respect to <coughs> x. <coughs> right, whatever the uh, independent function parameter is. So this thing I will find out and I will put it to zero. So if I put it to zero, then I will get uh, an equation of uh, this thing. Let's say this is prime, right? So this will give me the value of t. And these are called 48 option uh, C. Okay, Shahid is saying 48 option C. Okay, I don't know. I have not calculated this one. So that I will check. Yeah, so that may be correct. Okay, you already calculated this thing. Yeah, so, so as I was talking that, what is this minimum thing, right? So whenever you calculate the first order differentiation, so this will give you, and you, you equate it to zero. So this will give you the values of uh, this t. And these are called the critical points. And at these point, you guys uh, calculate what is the mix, minimum or maximum value. But how do you find out? How do you find out uh, whether this point, whether the point is the maxima or uh, minimum? So do you guys remember? How do you find out whether this point is maximum or minimum? How do you find? Yes, do you guys remember? How do you find out whether it is maximum or minimum? So let's say if you have a function, right? This is the function that you have. And then the other function is uh, this one. And this is the call the critical point. This one and uh, this one. So can you guys tell me, what is this point, minimum or maximum? So this is maximum, right? And this point is a uh, minimum. So this can be found out uh, by using the calculus. So this point is defined as double differentiation. If you double differentiate it, and if you are getting less than zero, so this is called maximum. If you are double differentiating and uh, then you are getting at this critical point, right at this critical point, 
you are getting greater than zero. So this is a minimum. So this is a thing that you have to calculate in this question, right? So this is the idea of maxima and minima, and this is very important. This is used in other chapters uh, as well. So this property we have to use in this uh, question, right? You have a man and he is chasing a bus, which is 45 meter behind. And then you have to minimize the velocity. So you have to minimize the velocity, which means that you have to find out du by dt and put it equal to zero, then you will get time. So whatever time you get, you put back in the equation of t. So that would be your minimum, right? We don't have to calculate uh, the double differentiation because this is a given minimum velocity. So that you can uh, calculate, right? Is this thing uh, clear, everyone? Is it uh, clear? So uh, you guys have uh, studied about this maxima and minima thing in calculus, right? This uh, you have uh, done in your 12th standard. So, yeah, good, good. So now let us, uh, I will uh, skip this 49th question as well. This one is very important. So this is a uh, star problem. This one is very important. I don't have uh, the time to talk about this one. That is why I'm moving on to the next one. But uh, in tomorrow's class, if uh, you guys have some problem in this one, then we can discuss. Please take the screenshot of these questions, these two. Please take the screenshot of these two questions and uh, tell me the answer in the next class. This one is very important. Okay, and if you guys get stuck uh, in this one, so we can talk about this in the in tomorrow's class, right? Yes, done. Okay, yes, uh, everyone has uh, taken the screenshot. So now the next topic is uh, free fall, right? So in free fall, we have to remember, yeah, I have already written this thing. So this thing is, uh, you have to only remember. In free fall, we know one thing, right? One thing which is very obvious. And that is that uh, the acceleration is G. But there is a sign convention. Right, there is a sign convention that we have to be very careful with. So when you are going up uh, stairs, when you are going uh, upwards, then your A would be minus, V and uh, S, all these things would be positive. Only A would be negative. So this thing you have to keep in mind. Right, and whenever you are going downwards, then uh, all the quantities are positive. So take everything positive. And uh, then the last one. So this relation is very, very important. So when you are talking about throughout the journey, throughout uh, the whole journey, right, which means that you uh, have uh, thrown this object with some initial velocity, and then it goes upwards and then due to gravitational acceleration, it comes back and then it falls down to the ground. So whenever you're talking about the whole journey, then it is very easy, it is very important to use this relation. Where this Y naught is the initial position Y is the final position. Okay, can you guys hear me? I guess my mic is not working. Can you guys uh, hear me? Who got disconnected? Mm, who got disconnected? Tari got disconnected. 
yeah so this is the final position and uh, please note down this relation so this is very important quickly note it down and then we'll do a couple of questions quickly note this thing down yeah okay so noted everyone yes noted guys then let us do a couple of uh, questions just a second okay yeah so whenever you guys have noted it down please tell who is texting <laughs> Okay, done. So, yeah, let no, us. Wait, I didn't finish. Oh, oh, you didn't finish. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, done. Yeah. Oh, Tariq. Oh, Tariq, you are back. You got disconnected, right? Yes, that's it. And uh, Shavez didn't join, right? So... Yes, Tarif, done. Yes, sir. Okay, so now let us do a couple of questions, right? Okay, so... Oh, why have I written all the answers in this? Okay, so this question you guys uh, will do, right? You guys try this question and uh, the object is uh, going downwards. So a body is released from the top of the tower of height H, right? It takes T seconds to reach the ground. Where will the ball after time T by two seconds, right? So it is falling, which means that A is positive Velocities are positive, distances are positive. Use these idea and uh, tell me what would be the answer. I'm 
Yad is getting option A. Mm, remember, just so always remember that uh, what is yeah. So remember, this is the reference point, right? Check your answer, everyone, and uh, think about the reference point. One moment, guys. Yes. So please double check your answers, guys, and uh, think about this thing. So option A. Remember, we are falling down. Not uh, we are falling down, this body is falling down. Right. But uh, we are measuring the distance so Maria is so we have uh, a draw right so D. Maria is also getting and D. Okay, so everybody, I guess, uh, Fadil, you are remaining. Fadil, what is your answer? What do you think? Yes, what do you think, Fadil? So let us, uh, because uh, we have a diff we have some different answers, so let us check this thing. Case first. Case first is that uh, time is T, height is H. Right, so H is, or let us write, S is uh, UT plus half AT square. Everything is positive, so H is, uh, U is zero. Right, is it, it is uh, released from the top of the tower, right? So this is zero, this is half, and uh, G and uh, T square. Right, so this is, uh, the height, half gt square. And uh, then what do we have? Now time is uh, how much? Case two. Time is t by two, right? And uh, what would be the s? This thing we have to find out. So this is uh, ut plus half at square. So t is t by two, this is uh, cancel, this is half. This is G, T is T by two, whole square. So half G T square by four. And we know that half G T square is how much? Half G T square is H. Half G T square is H. So H by four, but from where? We are measuring this distance from here. So this is H by four. But we are in the answer, they are measuring from the ground. So from here, they are measuring. Total height is H. This is H by 4. So this would be, so from ground. From ground, the distance would be H minus H by 4. So this is the twist in the question, which would be 3H by 4. So yes, uh, Yad and uh, Shahi. This was the twist in the question. You want to leave? Okay, yeah, Tari, if you can uh, leave, right? But uh, yes, we'll, yeah, 15 minutes more, we'll take the class. Oh, yes, and then we'll start. Okay, so this is uh, the correction. And clear, uh, Yad and Shahi. Yes, sir. And Fadil, what about you? Uh, did you understand uh, this problem? Is it clear for you? Hmm. 
Okay, so now let us uh, do the next uh, question. Okay, so this is 64th problem, right? A ball is projected upwards from a height h above uh, the surface of the earth uh, with velocity v. So there is the, this height and from this height uh, the ball is projected and then uh, it uh, the time at which the ball strikes the ground. So this comes to the ground, right? And we have to find out uh, the total time. So if you do this question part by part, let's say you calculate T1, T1 from here to here, and then you calculate T2 from here to here. So that would be a very complicated answer, right? But uh, we know that for the whole journey, for the whole journey, what is the relation? So we know that Y is uh, Y naught, and uh, plus u, u t minus half g t square, right? This is uh, the relation. And uh, what is y naught? What is y naught? Can anybody tell me what is y naught? What is y naught, guys? Yes, uh, question is what is y naught? Maria is saying h. So, yeah, what did you say? Uh, yeah, did you say h? Yes. Oh. oh, good. So, yes. So, y naught is h. And what is y? Final position, what is y? Zero. What is y? Y is zero. Good. So y is zero. So these things we know, right? And then rest of the thing, uh, what is released from the top of the tower, right? So uh, where is the question? A ball is projected upwards. So initial velocity, initial velocity is v, right? So u is v. And then rest of the thing, so when, then we have to calculate this time, right? So let us calculate this thing. So what would be this thing? Zero is equal to y naught, which is h plus uh, v t minus half g t square. So, what kind of uh, equation is this? Right, uh, t is function, g is constant, v is constant, h is constant. So, this is something like uh, this one. Right, let us write it in this form. So if we write it uh, in this form, we take the minus sign away. So half gt square and uh, minus vt minus h equals to zero. And let's uh, simplify this thing and uh, take only the coefficient uh, which is one. So let's divide this by g, multiply this by two. So this is t square minus uh, 2vt by g and then uh, minus 2h by g. This is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. Right? This is something like this one. A is uh, 1, B is minus 2v by g, C is uh, how much? Minus 2h by g. Right? So we have these things and then uh, we can solve this thing. So using the quadratic formula, right? So T would be how much? Minus B plus minus uh, root D divided by 2A. So how much is this? Minus of uh, minus 2V by G plus minus root of, okay. So then we have, uh, this thing, uh, b square, so this is 2v by g whole square, minus of 4, 1, and uh, c is minus 2h by g, divided by 2. So how much is uh, this thing? So this is uh, 2v by g 
plus minus 4v square by g square minus uh, and minus plus 8h by g. So we can take out uh, 2v by g uh, common, right? 2v square by g square, we can take it out. And then what would be this thing? So 2v by g plus this is 2v by g, we have taken it out. So this would be one and then plus, so we have taken uh, g square outside. So 8h g square divided by 4v square, uh, yeah. So, and then this g is here. So this g and this g is cancelled. This is two. So divided by two, right. So what is uh, this thing? So we can take, uh, cancel this two and two, right? So this is V by G plus minus uh, V by G and then root of one plus two H, two G H by V squared, right? What is the option which, uh, option which is uh, matching? So we have uh, 2gh by v square, this one, right? So we can take this v by g common and uh, we only write the plus part. So one by 2gh by v square. So this would be the answer. Is it uh, clear? And if you guys have used uh, the other relation part by part, then this question would have been uh, very difficult, right? So if you calculate this question part by part, so let's say you calculate T1, you calculate T2, and then you add them to, so then you want to reach the answer, right? So you have to use this relation to get the answer. Quickly note down this thing, and if you guys have any doubts, please tell. Quickly note down this thing. And whenever you guys want me to scroll down the screen, please tell me. And I should have asked you this question that why didn't I take the minus one, right? Why didn't I take the minus one? You guys can think about it and tell me in the next class, right? So you guys can also think about that. Why didn't we take the minus part? Because minus is also the solution, right? But why didn't we take the minus one? We, <laughs> we only took the positive part. <laughs> okay, so T would have been negative. Good, absolutely right. Ball is going up. Why? Ball is going up. Uh, that's why. Uh, no. So Yad is saying that ball is going up. Uh, that's why. No, that is not uh, the correct answer. Maria is saying that T would have been negative. Good. So you see that this is uh, V by G and this is V by G one plus something. So this root V would be greater than one. And then uh, one minus greater than one. So that, uh, that will give you a negative quantity. Time cannot be negative, right? Time is always positive. You cannot go back in time, right? So this that is why we don't have this minus sign in our final answer. Yeah, so Maria, you are uh, correct. Okay, whenever you guys have uh, noted it down, please uh, tell me. So...
There are other questions as well, but I will give those questions as your homework, right? Yes, noted everyone. Last line, okay, yeah, hopefully you noted that. Done. Okay, good. So everybody has noted. Now, do we have any other questions? So, um, this, yeah, this 79th one, because I'm skipping so many questions, because as you guys can see that we are going behind the schedule, right? Tomorrow, I have to complete the motion in 2D and uh, relative motion as well. So I guess tomorrow I will uh, go fast and uh, yeah, so this is the 79th uh, problem, right? You guys uh, quickly do this problem and uh, please try this one because now I, I can guess that you guys have understood uh, this thing properly. So please try the 79th question and tell me what is uh, the answer. 79th one. So body is uh, dropped, right? This is dropped. This part is T1. This part uh, to be in next half distance. Okay, next half. This is T2. So from here to here, this is uh, H by 2. From here to here, this is H by 2. That is your hint. Right. And uh, yeah, here U is 0. Here U is whatever that is. Right. And then you have to find out what is... Uh, the relation between T1 and T2. So you have to break this in two parts. This is part one. This is part two. Break this in two parts and then you will reach your answer. Hmm. So who has got the answer? Oh, can I do this question? Okay, so let's let's do part one. Okay, yeah, let's uh, do this question. Part one. We know that we are uh, the body is falling down, so everything is positive. So distance is this. S is uh, ut plus half gt square. 
u is 0, this is cancelled. S is h by 2, half g t1 square. Right, so this is first part. This is what we get from first part. But we require a v because this will be the initial velocity for this journey, right? From let's say A, B and C. So from uh, B to C, right? V would be your initial speed. So let us find out what is V. This is uh, U plus uh, GT. This part cancels out. Isn't that G on, uh, only because it has uh, gravity? Isn't that G only? Yeah, GT, GT. So yeah, we are only taking a G. There is There are no any other acceleration. You only have, that is the meaning of default, right? Yeah. Yeah, so then this is G, T1. This is your uh, V, right? Now let us uh, talk about this part two. So in part two, again, the distance is U, T plus half, g t square s is again h by 2 u is how much g t 1 t is uh, t 2 right because in part 2 time is t 2 and uh, u is uh, v and then uh, you have what half g and uh, t 2 square right we know that h by 2 is what h by 2 is uh, half g t 1 square, half g t 1 square, this is g t 1 t 2 plus half g t 2 square. So let's cancel this uh, g and multiply everything by 2. So t 1 square is uh, 2 t 1 t 2 plus t 2 square. Now we cannot solve this thing further. So how can I solve this thing so that I get a perfect square? Because this left-hand side is a perfect square. I have to make this thing a perfect square. How can I do that? Anyone? How can I make this a perfect square? This is completing the square. This you have learned in your 10th standard. How can I make this a complete square? You have a square, you have 2ab. So a is t2, b is t1. So if I add, yes, completing this square. So if I add b square in it, right? t1 square if I add. So this would be a complete square, right? Because I'm adding this thing, so I have to subtract this thing as well, uh, t1 square. Right, this thing, I'm adding it, subtracting it. So this doesn't uh, make any difference. But this makes this thing a complete square. So this is T1 plus T2 whole square. And this minus T1 square that is uh, gone in the left-hand side. So this is 2 T1 square. Now I can take this square root. So this is root 2 T1 and then T1 plus T2. So I take this thing T1 in the right hand side. Right, so T1 is uh, root two minus one. So T1 is uh, T2 by root two minus one. So this is your answer. Where is that answer? So this is uh, the answer. Is it uh, clear everyone? Any doubt in this question guys? So this is the idea of uh, motion in 1D, 2D or whatever dimension you have. You have to break your question in parts, right? And then you can get your answer. So is it clear everyone? I guess we should stop because you guys have very far time, right? So we will stop here, but uh, whenever you guys have noted it down, then we'll stop. Oh, good.
Okay, Yad has noted. What about rest of you guys? Noted. Okay, good. So we'll stop here and uh, see you guys in the next class, right? Uh, tomorrow, I will try to finish this uh, thing. So, yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, guys. Thank you, sir. Bye.